Nicola Badalana from PixieHill.com with another project for my friends at Gypsy Soul Laser Cuts. This month, I'm using their three-panel hutch to create a mystical little something. There are quite a few pieces to this hutch, so it's a good idea to see how everything fits together before gluing anything into place. Once you've figured out how it all fits, glue all the bits together except for the front frame. Apply a good coat of black acrylic paint. The hutch comes with pieces to make three large drawers, but I want a drawer for every opening. I measure the width, length, and height then cut and score to create simple card drawers for every slot. I'm painting the drawers black. The added thickness of paper on the bottom and sides would add bulk and make sliding them in and out difficult, so only the front face of the drawers will be covered in decorative paper. Trace around the hutch onto scrapbook paper to create perfectly sized pieces to fit the surface. Cover the front of the drawers now. Trim any excess and sand the edges. Darken any light edges that are showing. If your drawers are a little tight, you can rub a bar of soap against the sides. This really does help to make things move more smoothly. Using a tiny dab of silicone, I'm applying some speeds as drawer pulls. I'm removing the bottom edge of the front frame of the hutch with just a few snips. Then painting to match my paper. and gluing into place. I'll be adding some splattery stars. 
To keep the inside black, I'm tucking some tissue to block the areas that I don't want paint. Of course, a little bit of sparkle and a pinch of glitter. These wooden spindles are just a smidge taller than I would like, so I'm chopping off a bit of the length and sanding the ends. Then I'm painting to match. Grass, moon, and stars. Then those spindly legs are glued into place. A few final touches and my dreamy hutch is ready to be filled. What will you add to your dreamy hutch? I'm adding tiny vials and bowls of crystals and gems, little scrolls of secret knowledge, and tiny tarot cards to guide my mystic. For more information and full supply list, visit the blog link in the description. If you're inspired, be sure to tag me and show me what you've created. I love to see the things you make.